It's another beautiful day, another perfect day to continue my electric dirt bike build. Let's get right into it. I just want to clarify a couple things before I continue this video. Um, I know I said in my last video that I'll be building the battery pack in this video, but I haven't figured some things out quite yet, so I'll leave that for another video. But instead, we will be installing the motor. This is uh, the QS138 V3 70H, and we will also be installing the ND72850 controller. This is far driver, by the way. Uh, so yeah, let's dive right into it. Now, as you guys could see here, I've already started a couple things. So basically what I did was um, lower down the frame by cutting um, into the frame so that the motor would fit. And these are M8 bolts that originally came off of the gas engine. So I'll definitely be utilizing these for this motor as well. This motor has four different mounting locations and this bolt, the shorter one will go down here and the bigger one is gonna go up here. And this is gonna go straight onto here. So yeah, let's mount it on. A couple things I want to mention is that when I was bending this frame down, I only bent it down far enough so that the motor still has a little gap. Yeah, and also I made sure that the foot brake still has some room for braking and it does. This is it released, pushed against. And if anything, um, I could just grind down a little bit down here, which, is, which should not be an issue. Another thing I want to mention is that the only major bad change in this design is that the foot pegs are leaning more on the right side. I'm not too worried about that because it won't affect the performance of the bike. It shouldn't be a big deal for me either. If it does happen to bother me, I'll replace it with like some new ones specifically designed for this angle. But for now, I'll just leave it where it is. One last thing I wanted to say is that this motor already comes with two mounts already built into it to fit my motor without any issues. However, that is not all the mounts I'll be using. The QS138 comes with two more mounts so four in total that I want to be able to use. So I was thinking to use this um, little plate right here that was already pre-installed with the bike and somehow make my way from here to here and like bolt it all together. Same thing with this side. And then once I do that, it should fully maximize the full strength of this motor. And the best part is the motor sprocket and the rear sprocket aligns perfectly. I already put the sprocket on um, before this video to see if it would, and it did. It was like, it was like a perfect fit. All right guys, so that's enough of me. The next step will be to weld up those gaps and make the bottom two mounts that I just talked about. So yeah, see you when that's done. Boom, and just like that, we have everything welded up. Here's a little look around while I kind of explain some things as I do. So you probably can't tell because um, it looks almost stock, but I did weld up those gaps that you guys saw in the last clip. And I'm quite happy with the way they turned out. Also, this thing right here is the bottom motor mount. It has a mount for each side. So now that I have this one, these two, this one, and this one, my motor is fully supported. So there's no way that it will move around when I go bolt it all together. So let's see what it looks like bolted on. All right, now that everything's done with the motor side of things, we'll move on to the controller. Let's unbox it. All right guys, so here's what the controller looks like. Um, this thing is very beefy. Look at the heat sink on this thing. It's no joke. Um, I'd like to say that uh, Far Driver really knows what they're doing with their controllers. I mean, they're really compact and just really nice designs on these things. Um, I'll list the specs in the video about this controller. So yeah, let's go put it on the bike. So I've already pre-drilled all these holes here and they all align with the, with the holes on the controller. And I'll be using four M8 um, bolts 
like this and they actually came off of a hoverboard so i thought i'd be utilizing these i mean they're pretty high quality um so they, yeah they would just go in like this and then the nut would go under for each bolt but before i do any of that i need to grind off all these edges these sharp edges on every single mount and make them round so that um you know i don't cut myself or something so yeah let's do that first 